Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while. I didn't do a video last week. Um, actually, I recorded this drawing last week, but uh, I just couldn't bring myself to do the editing and the voiceover, even though it only takes like an hour. I just, I couldn't. I've been super distracted um, for the last couple of weeks for well, the same reasons everyone is probably really distracted. I've been just uh, um, trying really hard to keep up with drawing the comic. Uh, like, that's the number one priority. And uh, honestly, I've been so slow with uh, drawing it that uh, I've gotten my, you know, four pages done for the week and then I haven't had any time for anything else, like mentally or. Um, even time-wise. In fact, I've, uh, I haven't even managed to do the four pages a week. I've kind of fallen back on my buffer a little bit. Uh, I only have like two pages left when I used to have four. So I lost like uh, one page a week. <laughs> Feels really bad. <laughs> but um, I guess it could be worse. Um, the chapter break is coming up pretty soon. So I will have time to refocus and try to figure out how to stop being so scatterbrained and catch up a little bit again. Uh, I'll just have like a one week break when I can uh, draw a few extra pages into my buffer bank. Um, and for anyone who happens to be new here watching this video, I'm Minna. I make a webcomic called Stand Still Stay Silent. It's a post-apocalyptic adventure in in the Nordics, and it's free to read over at sssscomic.com. Oh, I can't even remember. <laughs> Just Google sssscomic and you'll find it. Um, as I said, free to read, uh, fun uh, thing, I guess, to take your mind off things. Um, and that's uh, this drawing is uh, well, it could be whatever. You wanted it to be, but it's the characters hanging out on a little hill uh, setting camp. I just wanted to paint some clouds, I guess, in gouache. Practice that a little bit. And um, yeah, that's the point of this painting. Nothing serious. Very relaxing. It was very fun to, fun to work in, in my sketchbook. But yeah, I've been um, kind of feeling the strain of... Uh, what's happening on my uh, body, I guess. Uh, because honestly, mentally, I haven't really felt too bad, as in if I'm thinking about it. I'm not like super, super worried or super, super stressed out or anything. Um, compared to what I've seen a lot of other people saying that they feel, like people are depressed and scared and just can't sleep. I'm sleeping well. I'm. Uh, um, as I said, not like feeling horrible about it, but um, the thing is that I'm just uh, there's like this uh, hidden low level anxiety, I guess, hidden behind the surface. And uh, as I said, it's making me really like distracted. Uh, my mind keeps wandering when I'm trying to draw, and uh, it makes me really, really slow at drawing. And um, another thing that I've noticed is uh, I'm getting like uh, physical stress uh, reactions this last week. Uh, I have, uh, um, well, I used to have like acid reflux when I got stressed and uh, I haven't like uh, needed to take any medication for it for like a couple years at least. But uh, yeah, now it's back in full force. I'm just burping <laughs> all the time. Uh, you know how it feels like, like you get a little bit of vomit in your uh, throat, that kind of uh, burp feeling, and my stomach hurts from it, and uh, I have like a headache, and uh, oh, I started getting a lot of acne this week, like I, I mean I have acne, acne normally, acne, like pimples and stuff, but I took like a shower a couple days ago, and I my chest is just covered in acne. <laughs> like, what is going on? What's happening? And then I realized, oh, it's just a, it's a stress reaction. So yeah, I'm feeling kind of uh, physically kind of 
gross uh, in many ways, just uh, not great. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling calm, I guess, uh, mentally and spiritually, feeling uh, or finding some peace in my faith and trying to take a little moment to pray every day and not forget to do that. And uh, yeah, that is uh, that is helping. Uh, but the flesh is weak, as one says, I guess, and it's doing its own thing. Um, also, I really want to eat some chocolate, but I don't have any anymore. <laughs> Maybe that's caused a little bit of the acne. I ate too much chocolate. No, I haven't eaten that much. I've eaten like a few pieces of a chocolate bar every day, like dark chocolate. But... Uh, I haven't gone to the grocery store to buy any new ones in a while, so I'm, I've kind of run out. Actually, last time that I went to a grocery store, I um, I bought or I wanted to buy myself some strawberry licorice. And uh, I was like really looking forward to it. Like, oh, this is gonna make me happy and uh, make me be able to calm down and focus better. And uh, what did I do? I got home and realized that my strawberry licorice that I paid for is nowhere to be found and I must have left it, left it at the, uh, the cash register um, like packing area. And isn't that just the most devastating thing that can happen? You buy some candy and you leave it at the grocery store after you pay for it. Like why couldn't I have left the... I don't know, what else did I buy? Carrots or something. Yeah, I could have left the carrots, but now I left the candy, so now I don't even have the candy. And uh, it's been several days after it, and I still think about it. <laughs> I wanted that candy! Oh well, I'll go next week again and buy my necess necessities, and then I'll try again to get some candy. <clears throat> but uh, uh, in uh, more nicer topics, I guess. Last week I took a nice little walk out in the woods at 5 in the morning because that's a good time when it's still pretty dark, like the sun is not even rising yet, uh, so nobody else is out uh, over here. And I took a walk in the woods by the local uh, rivers and rapids that are really nice, that have like little um, trail by them. and. Uh, yeah, it's like the end of the winter kind of time. It's not really spring at all. Nothing is growing yet. Um, most of the snow has melted away. There's just like patches of ice still all over the place. Uh, but there's no like uh, uh, nubs or or whatever you call them. Uh, like the little parts of the trees where the leaves are gonna start growing from. Uh, none of those yet. No flowers, no grass. Um, everything is still wintry. Actually, it snowed today again. Like it's oh, there's a bunch of snow outside. I just looked out of the window and yeah, it's just snowy and ice again. <sighs> but it was nice in the woods. Um, I don't, uh, I don't mind the look of the dreary late winter um, colors. It's just. Uh, Nice, I guess, and calming. Doesn't really matter what the weather is like. But yeah, that's what I did. Um, there's not like a... You're not forbidden to go outside yet over here. Thankfully it hasn't gotten that bad yet. So I'm like uh, taking the opportunity, I guess, to go out in nature uh, when I still can. You never know when it gets uh, bad enough over here that uh, you just have to stay indoors like in many other places um, over here you still are allowed to like go outside if you want to take a walk and uh, yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing a little bit honestly I haven't really gone outside at all even for walks more than like once a week I'm uh, I'm doing my daily exercise on my on my what's it called uh, exercising machine I have like a crossfit uh, thingy which is very useful and means I don't have to actually uh, go anywhere if it comes to that. Um, 
Now I actually can't go for a 5 a.m. walk anymore because uh, this week um, summertime was uh, turned on, which is the, I guess it's called daylight saving time. Uh, here it's called the summer and winter time. And now we're going over to summertime again, which means the clocks were turned one hour in some direction. Uh, which made it so that the sun doesn't rise at 5 anymore, now it rises at 6. And um, yeah, 6 is like too late now, I feel like other people are gonna be out walking. So yeah, I'm gonna have to wait a few weeks before um, summer progresses enough that uh, the sun will rise at 5 o'clock again. And then I can go out for a super early forest walk again without feeling like uh, I might run across uh, all of the old people in my town. <laughs> There's so many old people, it's uh, like a nice little mini town, but yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to risk doing that to anyone here, I don't want to be the source of a horrific outbreak. Not that I think I have been infected, I just... Uh, I mean, I'm a hermit person anyway, so I am uh, fine in those uh, those aspects. But yeah, I I guess that's all I really have to say for this week. Um, yeah, it, I'm just trying to take uh, control of my focus again. Uh, haven't happened yet, but I will try again. Every day you have opportunity to try to focus again and not be discouraged by being less focused the previous day. I have to always try to remember that and not feel like... Because I feel like I just want to go to bed every day really early so that time will go by faster and you know how you do when you're nervous. It's like, oh if I just go to sleep it will be over soon and I can't be nervous when I'm asleep unless I have nightmares I guess. But I'm sleeping well, so sleeping is feeling nice. Yeah, I try to not also sleep more than I should. And uh, yeah, um, I'll have another drawing for you guys next week. I've actually already recorded that one too. I recorded the newest uh, page of my comic, the one with the beer in the um in the bar. <laughs> That sounds really stupid if you haven't uh, seen the page. Yeah, there's a bear in a bar with like a stake through his neck. And yeah, I recorded that one. It was like a very um, intricate um, comic page to draw. It took uh, many hours and uh, it turned out really well. And I think you guys will enjoy seeing the process of it. And um, yeah, I'll just do whatever for that video. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, um, read my comic if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys uh, next week. Bye bye!